Hey, today we're gonna learn about data mushing and how we can use it to levitate our footage to a higher level. So the first thing we have to do is to get some footage. I decided to go out at night with my friend and to get some cool shots. I'm using my custom picture profile for low light, which I'm gonna make a video about future on. And I'm also using my own LUT, which I made for a cyberpunkish look. So let's get the footage and afterwards, <laughs> I'm totally soaked in water and how about you? I'm a walking trash bag. Yeah. <laughs> he's, he's a traveling trash bag. So we're gonna get home and so see you guys in a second. He's right now gonna show you how to do it and I hope it won't be too boring. So as you can see I have my timeline right here and everything I want to use is already set in there and let's just watch the start of it. It goes like this. Then we cut away to the shot of the metro. Before you do that much, you have to apply all the effects you want to use in the video. So color grade beforehand and use all the effects and transitions. We're gonna export it. So after everything is ready, what we do is we simply export the whole sequence, a high bitrate because we're gonna recompress the video, the maximum quality, and you hit export and we can relax and wait until the export is totally done. So after we exported the sequence, we have it right here as an mp4 file and everything is right here. Next thing we have to do is have to use this free software uh, which I'm gonna put in the description down below. We're gonna open this software, we're gonna select the sequence we want to use data mushing on. After we find the file, we just selected it, press cancel to everything, see so here where it says video, copy. We change it to XWIT, it's a different file format and we want to just deconstruct the whole video. Go to configure and we choose motion maximum iframe interval and we're just gonna change that to maximum so just all lines then and we're gonna press OK and we're gonna press save and we press save and just wait for it to get encoded. After the video exported we just click OK and we can just simply find the file, we call it 999 and we can just reopen it and now we, we change the video codex from XYAD to copy like this and as you can see never touch the first and the last frames as we can see here we have the whole video when we see that that a frame is getting changed like for example right here we take the first next frame so this is the ending of the clip we take the start of the clip and we press to a one frame ahead and the b which just selects that frame and we can simply one second we can simply just press delete right here and then we can just do it again for example let's find a new frame this is our new frame so we press a b and we do it again the delete and then what we have to do just repeat the same thing for the whole project we press save let's name it 10 right now and premiere pro cannot show the actual footage right now because it's in a shitty codex in the description down below i put a, a free software online software where you can transform and re-encode your footage back to mp4 which can play at premiere pro without any problems but the only one way to actually view the footage without converting it is using LS Media Player and we can just check it right now. And as we can see, the effect worked. And the sound can also get a little bit weird. And after that we can just simply transform the files and go back to Premiere Pro, drag and drop them and this is what we got afterwards.
And that's how our final product looks like.